Hello friends, in this video we will discuss about the hydrogen atom problem. I have made some tricks and formulas to solve the hydrogen atom problem easily. So by using these tricks and formulas, you can get the answers very easily. Then hydrogen atom is the simplest atom with only one electron. The wave function can be written. I have, I have written it here. The ideal part of this wave equation, the solution of which is written here in the form of psi n l m. So the first part, so the first part, this is the ideal wave function. So these are the flip plots of the ideal wave function in the ground state, first excited state and second excited state. So these are the formulas I have made. You can check it by yourself. The expectation value of R, the radius is 1, uh, 1 upon 2. This formula is written here, 3n square minus L, L plus 1. And A naught here is the Bose radius. So if you have to find the expectation value of the R in some state like uh, uh, n is equal to 1 and l is equal to 0 you can put the values here and you can directly get the answer without solving those uh, uh, expectation value integration equation psi star radius radius r into psi d psi so without solving these equations you can directly get by using this formula the required equation so this value of r square, you can take a screenshot of this. I have written all the formulas here. Expectation value of r square is like n square by 2, 5 n square plus 1 minus 3 l plus 1. A naught is the voice radius square. Expectation value of 1 upon radius, uh, 1 upon r square and 1 upon r cube. You can directly put uh, the values of n and l and get the results. I have solved one problem like uh, the ground state wave function for hydrogen atom when you put n is equal to 1 l is equal to 0 and m is equal to 0 in this formula and this you have to solve the Lagrange polynomial and you will get the required result like 1 upon diode pi a naught cube e to power minus r upon a naught so if you have to find the expectation value of r to power n then it means psi star r to the power n into psi d d tau you have to do this so it means 1 upon psi star is equal to psi in this case so it will be squared quantity and uh, here we have 1 upon pi a naught cube this is the square of this and r to the power n whose expectation value i have to find and this is the d tau in the spherical coordinates since the approximation in the hydrogen atom is that it is an uh, spherical atom so d tau is equal to r square sine theta dr d theta d phi by using the symmetry it comes that uh, d tau is equal to 4 pi r square dr 4 pi comes from sine theta d theta and d phi d phi comes to 0 to 2 pi and uh, d theta comes to goes to 0 to pi by 0 to pi so if you have to calculate the expectation value of r then you have to find the r to the power n put n is equal to 1 and you have to solve this integration but in this uh, video i have made some gate formulas like expectation value of r in psi 1 0 0 so n is equal to 1 and l is equal to 0 you can put the n is equal to 1 here in this formula and l is equal to 0 so you will get 1 by 2 3 into 1 square minus 0 and all to the 1 so this is uh, these are the get handy formulas which you can use in the mcq type of questions you can take the screenshot of that for using it similarly if you have to solve the expectation value of r square in the same state psi 1 o o then you will put the value of psi star r square psi d tau d tau here is 4 pi r square dr then after solving this integration 
you will get the required answer expectation value of i square as t a naught i uh, t a naught square as i have solved here but if you use that formula expectation value of i square then by putting n is equal to 1 l is equal to 0 and l plus 1 it will be 1 so you can directly get the required result 3 a naught square easily so by doing this you have saved a lot of time and effort similarly if you have to find the most probable value of r in the ground state then what is the most probable value you have to find the probability psi square d tau and then most probable value of r so you will differentiate with respect to r and will be equal to 0 this will give as r is equal to a now the sum of the integrations here i have scanned from the book of quantum mechanics by g arul das in the appendix section you will get all the formulas integration formulas will be useful throughout the quantum mechanics if you don't have the book you can take the screenshot so these are the six formulas mostly of the gamma function and these are also some handy formulas written here you can use it in your questions to solve the problems easily and efficiently so hope you like the and let me know in the comment section on what topics you are expecting the videos and i should make the videos thank you thanks for watching